Yo, 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 it's your boy West the Tech here to bring you another one of my personal favorite tech tips to help you as an artist grow your craft. Now, today we're going to go over how to get a TikTok artist account with DistroKid, all right? So if you're a recording artist who's looking into converting your TikTok account into a TikTok artist account, and you currently have DistroKid as your music distribution service, then this is the perfect video for you because in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to get a TikTok artist account using DistroKid, all right? Now, before I continue, I definitely wanna let you guys know about my free music business checklist that's available to download off of my website right now. This is for any one of you guys who's looking into starting your own music business but don't quite know where to start. With this free tool, you'll actually be able to identify three things that you could do right away to start your own music business. So if you want to grab that free tool today, you can click on the link above. I'll also leave a link in the descriptions below, all right? Now, when it comes to getting an official artist um, account with TikTok, it is actually very, very easy. Now, there is, of course, a method that you could do it through TikTok directly, but DistroKid now offers a new feature that they can actually link and create that TikTok artist account for you by linking your DistroKid account with your TikTok account, all right? Now, for those of you who don't know what the TikTok artist account is, let me take a moment to explain, all right? TikTok, about eight months ago, I would say TikTok uh, made an announcement about artist accounts. With these new artist accounts, you as an artist could have a special TikTok account that's different from the standard account. It's an actual official artist account. Just like you have an official artist channel with YouTube or you have an official artist page with Instagram, TikTok now has a way that you could turn your actual account, your personal account, into an artist account. And with the artist account will come the new music tab where your music will actually show up under your um your music will show up under the music tab that's a part of your actual TikTok account, all right? Now, this is very, very different from just distributing your music to TikTok, right? Because, of course, you could dis we've been able to distribute our music to TikTok ever since for years now, right? But with this actual TikTok account moving forward, people can actually go to your page, they could go to the music tab, see your music on there, and actually go through your entire distrography straight right through your own TikTok page. Also, if somebody hears your song and they were to click on the song, if they were actually to click to the, on the artist name, it would direct them directly to your actual artist page. So it's an amazing feature to have. Of course, I've already done videos on what the new feature entails. If you haven't watched that video yet, you definitely want to click on the link above because in that video is where I talk about the new artist account with TikTok and everything like that, all right? But for those of you who already know about that, this video is specifically for those of you who have DistroKid as your music distribution service and you're looking into getting that new TikTok artist account, all right? So essentially what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to log in to your DistroKid account. Once you're actually at the home page, all you want to do is you want to click on the menu button, which is the four squares uh, icon on the top right hand corner. Once you click on that, you then want to scroll down to where it says special access. From there, you click on special access and you will see the new link that says TikTok artist account, right? Once you click on that, it should bring you to this new page here. Now, from this page, all you have to do is select your actual artist name, right? Then you will hit apply. Once you hit apply, it's then going to bring you to the authorization page. Now, if you don't get this page right away, then that means that you might not be logged into your TikTok yet. By the way, I should have mentioned it earlier, but I'll mention it now. It's definitely a lot easier to do this on a desktop computer, which is why I usually do these tutorials on the desktop computer because a lot of these things are a lot easier to do it on here. Now, I'm pretty sure you could do it on your mobile device as well, but for the sake of this tutorial and for the sake of doing it the easy way, I always recommend doing stuff like this on a desktop if you have that capability, a desktop or a laptop, all right? But from this point, if you don't get this page, like I said before, you have to log in 
to your TikTok account. So go ahead, open up another tab, log into your TikTok account. Then once you're logged in, go back and hit apply again from DistroKid and it should bring you to this authorization page. You want to make sure everything stays checked then you want to go ahead and click on authorize once you hit authorize you will then be redirected back to your distro kit account and it'll say application submitted all right which is essentially where you want to be at from this point all it is is just a waiting game all right now it doesn't take too long typically it takes a couple of minutes all right um for the first time I did it, all it, it took me like five minutes and then it was already ready. So it's gonna take a couple of minutes or so, all right? And in the meantime, it's gonna say that it's under review. Once it's actually done, right? And you refresh the page, it's gonna show that it's already connected like this right here. Then from this point, all you wanna do is open up the TikTok app from your phone and double check to see if the music um, tab is there and that your TikTok page is now an artist page. And like I said, you can click on the music tab and you'll be able to see your entire discography right there. Now, of course, it's gonna be for all the music that you actually distributed through DistroKid. If for any reason you distributed music through another distribution service, I don't know if those songs will come up. But for all the songs that you do have with DistroKid, it will show up on under this music tab moving forward. All right, guys? But that's pretty much it. That's how you actually create a TikTok artist page using DistroKid if DistroKid is your music distribution company. Now, again, you don't have to have DistroKid to actually apply for the artist page. You can actually do it through TikTok directly, all right? That link that I showed you early shows you exactly how to do that. I'll make sure I show it again. For those of you who don't have DistroKid and wanna know how to actually apply for the artist page, you could absolutely do it through TikTok directly, but it takes up to 30 days for, for you to do it that way. That's kinda like, that's kinda why I like this DistroKid process, because it's a lot faster than if you try to do it through TikTok directly. It takes a long time for somebody to do, for anybody to do anything for you when it comes to TikTok, all right, even replying to, um, um re reporting a problem when you're trying to contact tiktok it's a hassle it takes forever but i understand that tiktok is worldwide billions of people use it so it's hard it takes a while for them to get in contact with you but if you through do it through DistroKid, it'll be a lot easier and a lot faster for you so that would be the method that i would recommend for you to actually get an artist account through tiktok if you actually distribute with DistroKid, all right? But that's pretty much it. That's what this video was about. Of course, you know, I like to keep it quick and short. If you guys have any additional questions or anything else in, rela in, in regards to the new TikTok artist accounts or DistroKid in general or anything music business-wise, uh, please feel free to leave comments in the comment section below. Just ask away. I'll be here because I'm here to help you guys as an independent artist. I'm here to answer as much questions as possible so that we can all grow together as independent artists, all right? Also, for those of you who don't know, I do have a book, The 13 Steps to Jumpstart Your Music Business. This is essentially for any one of you guys who's looking into leaving that nine to five job that you hate and being able to do music full time, all right? If you don't know the process or what to do to actually put yourself in a position to leave that nine to five job so that you can do music full time, you definitely want to grab that book, all right? That's this book right here. I have it as physical copies and I also have it in ebook form as well. It's the same 13 steps that I took to jumpstart my music business and I believe these same steps will be able to help you solve that problem so that you're able to do music full time and leave that nine to five job. I've been doing music full time for almost 10 years now and it's all thanks to those 13 steps. So if you wanna know how to do it, definitely grab that today, all right guys? But that's pretty much it. I hope that this video helped you figure out how to get your artist account through TikTok. Again, if you have any additional questions or concerns, leave comments in the comment section below and I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Joseph, 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 Joseph,